Well, our kids had their six weeks off, didn't they? Their summer holiday. Ours is six weeks, but I get that it varies slightly from place to place. But in the main, they've all had their time off that they're scheduled for every year. And I've worried and worried and worried over those weeks about what state the schools are going to be in when they go back and what things are going to be expected. And I was pleasantly surprised when I picked my son up from school yesterday and I'll tell you all about it. How do everyone welcome back to the channel for a Friday. Hope you're all doing all right. Well, school time is here again. All those little darlings are back where they should be in the institutions of learning where they thrive, grow and become little smart asses in most cases who think they know more than you do. Yes, okay. Good luck with that one, I say. Anyway, I was very worried uh, for several weeks because we've seen how our children's education has been disrupted over the last 18 months with predicted results governed by an algorithm. Somebody like Gavin Williamson in charge of the education department, say no more, and whole year groups having to go home because of one single case. None of it ever made any sense. And in July, uh, before the kids broke up, we went to our uh, youngest boy's school. He's uh, eight years old now. And they had an outdoor presentation afternoon in the hot summer and it was very very nice uh, and they all got their little certificates and were made to feel good about themselves and it was all good the key point is it's the summer and i read that mr williamson private pike don't panic is saying that by hook or by crook the schools will remain open and doesn't rule out teaching outside or that kind of malarkey. Now, if the teachers and the teachers' unions have any sense here, they will tell Mr. Williamson to stick it up his ass because it's just not workable. There's one thing that's worried me with all that is what is that doing to our immune systems with regard to other everyday things that we either get or pass on to each other. It's just unworkable. And when you get to the cold winter months, you can't have students and teachers outside in the cold air learning. It just doesn't work. So again, I hope the teachers and the unions tell everybody to off, basically. And I'll tell you a very simple reason why. I went to the school yesterday and I picked my son up and we all walked in. Uh, my wife and I, as we would do normally, stood in the playground with a load of happy parents, all waiting, all chatting, all happy and smiley. And all the kids came out, quite actually delighted that they were back to school because they needed it. And the key thing I noticed above everything else was normality. It was a normal school day, normal drop off, normal pick up, normal kids. Everything was just normal as it should be. And it needs to continue that way for the sake of the kids, their routine and all this stuff that I'm reading in the papers. Very, very, very wrong. And uh, I hope, you know, feedback comes from the ground that schools are now the way they should be and everything is normal. Let's hope it stays that way. Let me know, you know, one, if you've got kids and number two, if you had similar experience to me. It just felt right for the first time in, well, nearly two years, I suppose. Anyway, I'm off, and I'll see you in a while with another one. This is the Gabby Cabby, for now, signing off. Toodaloo.